What's up, man? Hey. Um, I like the shirt, but I thought this was a... Uh... Please take your shirt off. No, it's take your shoes off. Take your shirt off. 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 Welcome to another episode of Take Your Shirt Off. You will be here. Okay. I can place that's acceptable. Oh, and yeah, wash the of hands. course. Yeah. And why am I wa I would wash them. I always do. Why am I? I always ask to wash, but it really, I don't really, I don't think I care. Can I urinate? Uh, could you wait until we're done? No. Um, yeah, that's fine. Okay. Dear Rick, you have the best... Buns in the busyness. JK, JK. Who's JK? JK Rowling? Mm hmm. This, that was before all the trans Though, uh, yes, the trans awkward stuff. Yeah, yeah. Oh. Hey. Hi. What's your favorite big three? Probably. Oh, wow. Your voice is very full and. Well, there's a few. There's a few. I guess I would say. Um, Kevin Love, Kyrie Irving, and LeBron James, These circa are, 2016. That's your big three? Yeah. Okay. What about you? Not that. I, I, I can tell. Yeah. Your uh, user would be LeBron, Kyrie, and who? Why are those the number twos and number ones? No. Uh, I would go old schools, Rick. Rick, may I ask, is your name Rick? Or is it like... Is hello? This, hello. Do I sound quiet to you? You sound full and deep. I sound like I have a disorder of some kind. Oh, hey there, big boys. Wait a minute, but do you hear out of both ears? Not really. Yeah, it's, it's something's going on, right? Um, is uh, one of those knobs, is it for left and righty? No, it's mono. Oh. Wait, wait. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. No, that sounds good. No, oh. Boom, 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 ah. boom, boom, ah. boom, boom. Ah. Boom, 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 yeah, that sounds nice. Also, I think I hear myself in both ears now. I think I as well do too, but it is stronger in my left. I don't care. I will adjust. Hey, let's try this. Hello? What the fuck? Hello? What's going on with this, Rick? What? Why do I sound like I'm from Jersey? Well, Cleveland technically, but maybe because you're German, you think we all sound the same. Switch, Switch it, it back. back. Hello? Hello? Hi. Oh, hi. Better. That was odd. What do you think? That was like the, the movie film Soul, where the man is a dog, dog. and then the dog becomes, is de someone dies. Yeah. He's black, right? The dog? I don't know. No, the, the uh, is the dog now black? Uh, do dogs? He's a, he's a black lab, I thought. Oh, so could be. Yes, I don't remember. Well, I don't want to get too off, but... <coughs> 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 Rick. Sorry, I went down the wrong <laughs> went down the wrong tube. <laughs> it's not the flavor. This was a tube issue. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. So I can Oh no, it's fine. Rick. Oh. It's fine. Um I am a little distracted by it's I hear an ear and then I don't, but I don't want to talk about it anymore. Well, it's all I do now is hear this, but you had like a before that was normal. This is my normal. And it's not distracting to you? It's like if I was born with color blindness. Right. I don't know that the Ferrari is violet. Right. I just, it's just, a, it's all grayscale. Yeah. I'm going to have to play with it one more time. Yeah, please, fuck it. Does talking help it? If I go ba 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 bee 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 boo 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 Yeah, that helps. Ba 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 bee 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 bee
哔哔哔哔，叭叭叭叭，哔哔哔哔，叭叭叭叭叭叭叭，啵啵啵啵，不不不不，叭叭叭叭叭叭，哔哔哔哔，啵啵啵啵，不不不不，叭叭叭叭，哔哔哔哔，叭叭叭叭，啵啵啵啵，不不不不，哔哔哔哔，叭叭叭叭，啵啵啵啵，不不不不，叭叭叭叭，哔哔哔，叭叭叭，哔哔哔哔，叭叭叭叭，哔哔哔哔，叭叭叭，哔哔哔叭叭叭，哔哔叭叭叭，啵啵啵啵，不不不不，叭叭叭叭叭，哔哔哔哔，叭叭叭叭，哔哔哔叭。Oh yeah! Brilliant. I hope none of this is recording. You are speaking to absolutely no one. That's my dream with us. Thanks for coming over, man. Thank you, Rick Glass, man.、Um, it's nice to meet with you,、mm. and it's good to see you. Do you want to do that again? <clears throat> do you want to do that smoother? Yeah, sure. A big thanks to our sponsor, BetterHelp. Easy and affordable online therapy. Visit BetterHelp.com/slash/Tyson for ten percent off your first month. That's B-E-T-T-E-R-H-E-L-P.com/slash/Tyson. Rick, may I ask, is your name Rick? Back to you,、uh, um, Flula. <laughs> hey there, big boys. Okay, and action. Let me lead you in, please. Hey man, thanks for coming over. Thanks for doing this. Hi to you, Rick. It's nice for me here, and I was. It's enjoy. Is it a language thing? Is it? Are you nervous, or is it the words you can't find? Can we just try one more? Yeah. Just don't think about it so much. <clears throat>、uh, no, uh, coaster. Oh, co- I can actually get you a coaster. It's not very cold. There's no sweating. But well, you know what? Why don't you take the、um, take the sleeve off? Use that as a coaster. Okay. Okay. Can I get you more ice? Yeah, let me. Can I get some? I'll do it because my hands. I understand, but I also am weird with that. Oh, perfect.、Um, I I did just wash. I could do it again, but also I trust you. And you okay? Should I? Bop, bop, bop. Should I yeah, but do I need to take because it's going to overflow? So do I pour some? Oh, I can chug it. Oh, you've made a nice one of lots of it. Chug, chug, chug. Everybody, chug, 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 chug. That's enough room. Okay, ba 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 bi 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 ba 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 bu 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 ba ba bi 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 ba 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 bu bu bu. Fifty-eight minutes later. Bu 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 ba ba bi bi ba 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 bu 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 ba 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 bi bi ba bi bi ba ba ba. Thank you, ba bi bi ba. Is this for like a comic card? Is it like a Marvel masterpieces? You know, I to- for merch. I, I shout, out to, shout out to Scott Hepburn. I put his Instagram handle here. Scott Scott. I、uh, do.、Uh, tr- I do trading cards of previous guests. I would love.、Uh, who should? Oh, aren't those cool? Rick and Goblin. Goblin was one of your guests. Goblin is our mascot. Oh, okay. And then Blake Griffin. Yeah, it's Colossus, and I'm Wolverine. Wolverine. Oh, Mark Maroon. I love Mark Maroon. Yeah. Well, if you were colorblind, you would maybe call him Mark Violet. Hey, ho,、oh, ho! I get this. Yeah, yeah. A different shade. Yeah. Crayola. Well, like, like the card you said. Car. Yeah, car. Yeah. Shout out to yeah. the earlier before time. Can we? Fill so, <clears throat> oh, and then we、okay. have Eric Griffin,、uh, brother of Blake. Please take your shirt off. Yes. Played for Oklahoma, also Oklahoma.、Mm-hmm. Go Sunnies. Rick and Gob. Oh, we've repeated it. Okay. These, yeah. Aren't those cool? It's very nice. Take your shoes off. Yeah. So、uh, <clears throat> we were coming, cutting back to maybe this will all be out because we were just going to go back to the thanks for being here. Tell me when you're ready. <clears throat> yeah. Okay. Flula, thank you so much for coming here and wanting to do this. Wow, thank you also, Rick, for me to、uh, um, for my invite and tation. How long ago did you learn English? It's been a process, you know. As all things in life, you are always you know must always sharpen those、uh, knives,、mm-hmm. and so this is a knife that I will always make sharp as as the time as time is going. Right, and you'll use it, and so it'll it'll keep going like this. You're saying, right? It's a rated blade. Yeah.、Mm-hmm. Yeah, good for steak and also German bread. Why specifically German bread? German bread has a very thick crust, you know. A thick and what? Crust, crust. You know, like don't just stand there, crust move. Yes. And then so you have to penetrate the crust, and so a serration is nice for this. Isn't it? Don't just stand there, bust a move.、Hmm? You said don't just stand there. I'm crust. A, it's bust a move, but. Did you learn English? A lot of people who are not from the Americas or from a country that speak English,、yeah. they, I understand they learned、uh, English before moving here from watching American sitcoms. So I'm curious, what sitcoms did you watch that helped, or was it music that taught you the language? I did watch many of your shows, a sitcom,、um, what, my- Undateable on NBC. My shows. What is this? Oh, I thought you meant you watch my. Sh- 
actual. You meant American shows. Oh, so yeah. Sorry. What do you <clears throat> do as a living? I'm an actor. Ah. Okay. So what shows did you watch? Which American shows? Oh, I watch uh, Hill Street and the Blues. And I also watch um, Scarecrow and Mrs. King. <laughs> <laughs> Scarecrow and Mrs. King. I don't think it's an American. Uh, Could mean, you p tell me the premise? What's the pilot? It's two people. One of them is a nickname of Scarecrow. Mm. And it's also then another person who is married. And frankly, Ricky Joe... Sex with you was always a major disappointment. Him. And what's the what's the premise? What's the show about? The two people, one is a woman and one is a man, and then they say words to each of the other, and then like a commercial happens, right. and then say <clears throat> check in new next next week to be continued. Oh. So, what made you want to move to the Americas? Was I it acting? No, I won a hype man contest on accident, <clears throat> and uh, on accidents. I hype man like Little John, like yeah, yes, because yes. you're a musician. I'm a musician. Yes. So was it music that brought you here? Also, well, no. I I won a hype man contest, and I was like, perhaps a nice time is to continue living in America because in Germany it's just me with many other German people, you know, and so it's me plus ninety nine million, and Flula is one. Yeah. And so, like Jay Z, who has I got ninety nine problems and a bitch ain't one. Mm. So what is a hype man contest and what made you want to enter this? May I place this down on the floor or where may I place this? You can now? put it on the tray or on a coaster, any of your coasters. Okay. Thank, thank you, Rick. Rick. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Rick. Sorry. Thank, you, thank Rick. you, Rick. Use the second one. <clears throat> okay. Um, thank you. So um, you said, so hype man. A hype man contest is a place where you are finding who is the most best of all of the hype mans or what? But hype what? For what? Getting the crowd rowdy? Absolute, yes. But it can be, it's not a an actual, it's not a real crowdy rowdy. It's just uh, three judges with the tables and then they say, time to pretend here now is a crowd. Do you have a clip of this so that we could put in? Yes, immediately. What's your name, man? Flula Park. Felix Park? Flula. 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 F-L-U-L-A, that's right. Yo, um, let's go to see what you got. Let's okay. rock. Great. I like this kid. Like that's right, everybody. You feel it? I don't care. Put your hands on the ceiling. Touch that floor. Say what? Touch that ceiling. I like to do the feedback. You feel it? Everybody scream when they hear that. Say, ow wow. Ow wow. Say, ow wow. Ow wow. One, two, three. And there go. Holy Dance. Bro. Dance. Thank you, by the way. I like you. Watching you, I feel like I'm on my rooms. Excellent. Snap, and we are back. So, Rick, that was a clip that we just saw of the Hype Man contest. How old were you? I don't recall. I mean, it was... Teenager? No, it was more than the teenagers. 20 ages. And... Where this is a thing in Germany that people know about. It's nobody knows of it. It was in America, and I I flew to Chicago, home of those pish, those dipped home. Um, um, Fred McGriff, Scruff McGruff, Scruff McGruff, Chicago, Illinois, six oh six five two. I'm Scruff McGruff from Chicago, Illinois. Don't you fucking dare mess with a woman. Oh. That's their new thing. Did you know Scruff McGruff? He was the crime fighting dog, and now he's the Me Too dog. It's a me. It's a he's he's like for women empowerment. Also, okay, great. So yeah. he's it's a lateral move career. It's a new career for. Yeah. Okay. I would say, and I, this is gonna maybe people are gonna think I'm a real fucking snowflake, but I think it's not lateral. I think it's a step up because I think women need dogs to tell them to, you know, they're smart. Also, we can cut. So um, <laughs> you can. Do, we, do you keep you will keep that in like misogyny is how is that misogynistic it sounded scary i just am a man when it sounds scary do you think and we could take this out if i'm putting you on the spot yeah but do you think by me saying how important it is that women have have not just people but just advocates all around in, in like in cartoons and in movies Dog. and whatever it might be just people that have an audience to speak up for them and you think that sounds bad what do you think is triggering you Oh, yeah. <laughs> so you moved to the Americas or you moved to Chicago. You went to Chicago. Where do you hear this? You're just, you're, you're lifting weights at home, right? I assume like you're behind the Berlin Wall or something. I was, I was, well, depending on your vantage, I was behind a Berlin Wall. Right. Yes, but. Right. Were you east or west of it? I was, I was west of it in the, at this moment. Also, it was collapsed. 
Right. But technically where it was, that was a better place to be. Uh, probably, yeah. I would say, you know, yes. So you went to the Berlin Wall, which yeah. had been down probably, I mean, if you, 30 years at that point, right? Yes, many of those years. And you're, what do you see it in a magazine? I saw it on the TV screen um, with a YouTube and it was like, hey, calling all peoples. Would you like to come to America, perhaps, and and make some hype man time? And I do not know what is a hype man, so um, I- You really didn't know what this was? No. You just, I make YouTube videos. Didn't do this either. This was before I made any videos. What were you doing? Uh, I was making um, mixi ta mixing tapes. I was beatboxing in a closet and also live. And you're, you're out now as homosexual? I'm sorry? You were in the closet beatboxing, you said? Oh, yes. In a, no, I was, I mean, it, this was asexual. I was just, I was in a closet. Oh, literally, you were in a closet. Yeah, Rick. Um, so as a German person, there is no, you know, WYSIWYG. WYSIWYG. No, you, that doesn't translate to oh, me. WYSIWYG. So, so uh, it's, a, it's a coding term. What you see is what you get. Yeah, I know that one. Okay. WYSIWYG is German for what you see is what you get. No, it's an acronym like, uh, like NASA. Oh, I know the acronyms. IKA. In incognito app, what is that? I know a, I know acronyms. Azul. Mm -hmm. um, so you, what you see is what you get. I've never heard that before. That's an acronym that people say, W-I-S-W-I-G. Yes, it's for a code, if you are coding, so sometimes you want to WYSIWYG and so. You so during this time, you are not a comedian. I'm still not a comedian, yes. Well, you're a funny man, you do funny. Who says this? <laughs> what do you guys think? Come on, you could do better than that. You guys think he's funny or what? Oh, fuck. <laughs> yeah, they spoke, my man. Uh, they think you're funny. Okay. Ah, well, thank you. Um, thank you. To, to, who's watching? Oh, it's this is a big podcast. Azo. Okay. But you, you, but but also, you are funny. You do funny. You're a very funny guy. I'm a. I'm curious if then. Did you have that? Were you like a quirky, funny thing? Was it just straight? Like, were you? What was the goal when you started doing music? And uh, where has it gotten you? Do you know what I'm saying? Like, where would you call? What would you call your music now versus when you started? I was enjoying to just hear a nice beat and to make some dopeness occur. And then I realized if people are more people are hearing the dopeness and the beat, then that is a nice thing. Was it the production or also rapping? I was making rapping as well, but yeah. it's mostly with a beat. You know, I'm a techno person. I started as a, um, a Schuhplattler, um, which is a dancing from the... I'm from uh, Bayern, so, so not Bayern. It's a Bavaria, Bavaria. And so we have some dancing that is traditional called Schuhplattler. You know, beetle up, up, snap, snibble, doodle, lead, you know, with the slapping and things. We'll cut to a clip. And we are hold back and now welcome and <clears throat> and so um, sorry. Let's do it again. We're back to and we are when we're back. Um, and then so we did a Schuhplattler. And so I was a dancing with Schuhplattler and uh, we have a DJ who was making our music, but he would show me what it's like when we was like on the pause. He would be like, what, listen to this new track. On the pause, I don't know that. Uh, pause, we are pausing. So during a break gotcha. after dancing, he would play for me some dope stuff like Kugandorf, Meister, Prodigy, uh -huh. etc. And then I was like, this is where the real choice is, hello. And so then I began to make some very dope beats. And then this was how I entered music. And I right. And Hype Man to me is music. Hype Man to me is, the first time I ever heard of Hype Man was Little John. Ah, uh, he, he, okay, yes. I did not know what is a Hype Man, um, so I just entered this contest because a free trip to go to Giordano's. Why, why free? Well, to fly me to the competition. But, so this wasn't a casting call where they're like, anyone want to do this? You were invited. I, I did, in, I did so, show to them a, uh, what do you say it? Like a promo, uh, audition, audition. Yeah. I made an audition of me in a library doing what I was thinking is hyping. I didn't know. Hello, ladies, come now dancing here. And the nonfiction, do we decimal? And then we are back now as well. And so uh, they accepted to me this and they said, come to America for this competition. I was thinking perhaps I would be like, you know, that um, 
I was thinking perhaps it would be like Will, the William Hang, you know, from American Idol. Yeah, and so it's like okay, she moves, she bang, moves, Now I just pop it and push it like we just live in art. But then we fight and you give it and do some mission mores. But how we take it when we put it in another? But it's American Idol, so we just couldn't and couldn't. Now stop. But it wasn't, it was different. It was not like this. How would you describe it? I was just uh, flowing to the growing and seeing what was snowing. You know, as they, as they say, some. <laughs> <Yeah>. you know, <laughs> <laughs> now, was it mostly Americans? All Americans. I was an international person. And so I think this was to my advantage. Right. I don't. And also, it's very good in, in the world, I think, as you may know, Rick, to be very good in the job or very terrible in a job. And and so you know you you bring up William Hung and he was he went viral because it was not what people expected. Yes. And is that why you felt that way? Yes. Like could you thought cuz I, I you are going into an environment Yes. So that was there a confidence to that? Like it doesn't matter what you do? Well, yeah. I mean, always there is nervosity because to be a human is nervous, I think. Mm -hmm. And so I did enjoy the low levels of nervous, but also I was like, I have no clues what is happening. So you cannot confuse me. I am already confused. Yeah. I see that in your comedy, by the way. Ah. I like it. I'm, mm. I'm, I'm like that probably for a different reason, but it doesn't matter which way you go. You feel, you seem to feel very secure in any choice that's made. I am very not qualified for all of the items of life. And so <laughs> in the mathematic way, I'm equal qualified for all things. Sure. So give me a scalpel. Let's have a surgeon. Oh, well, that, <laughs> there's higher stakes than that. Okay. <laughs> Speaking of which, we'll be right back after a word from our sponsors. Oh, yeah. She's got it's. It's usually it's it's, it's like um, two minutes, so we'll just we'll just wait for it. Yeah, these are tasty. Thank you, um, Rick. Rick, do your friends call? Are your friends calling you Rick? Well, most people call me Rick. Um, close friends call me <laughs> funny stuff, Lula. You're so funny at stuff. Hi. I'm Rick Glassman from the Take Your Shoes Off podcast, and here's where I'm gonna to talk to you about therapy. This is a good episode to talk to you about therapy because I believe that I could be easily misunderstood, and with being misunderstood comes the need to be understood. And sometimes that could be difficult. Maybe you don't know who to speak with, maybe you don't have somebody to speak with, maybe you're ashamed to speak with somebody about it, or maybe you don't even know what to talk about. I'm someone who's a big proponent of therapy. I've learned so much from therapy, both about myself and how to communicate with other people. So it is an easy pitch for me to sell you guys and talk to you about our sponsor, BetterHelp. BetterHelp is online therapy that offers video, phone, and chat sessions so you could speak with a therapist from the comfort of your own home. It's also pretty easy relatively to find a therapist. You go online and be matched to a licensed therapist in under 48 hours. If you're somebody who's been thinking about therapy but unsure, this is the place to try. If you're somebody who has stayed away from therapy because of the expense, BetterHelp is an online, much more affordable therapy. If you listen to my podcast, you already know how much I love therapy and how beneficial I believe it it is, but also I know call to actions are important. And I want to tell you that even if you haven't been thinking about it, 10 out of 10 people will benefit from therapy. Normally I make my commercials really silly. Uh, for example, <laughs> stuff like that. But therapy is near and dear. And I also feel like at some points I want to be very direct with my audience. Uh, so go to therapy, everybody. And it is my privilege to let you know that our listeners that take your shoes off get 10% off at betterhelp.com slash Tyso. That's betterhelp, H-E-L-P.com slash Tyso for 10% off your first month. What's that, Flula? May I place this down on the floor? <laughs> do, we, do you keep, you will keep that in? Tell me about it. Ricky, because they hear my family calls me Ricky, huh. and some people call me Richard. Hmm. How do you, do you go? I know that I don't understand why, but Dick is also a Richard. So do people are there? A, do you are you Dick Glassman someplace? Oh no, some people call me that. I'm so. Uh, I remember in summer camp, somebody was called me Dick Assman. Do you have a Wayne's clip? World. Do you have a clip of this? If, if you have a clip, of, yeah. Uh, Oh, you do? Okay. Yeah, but finish the doodle 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 Hey, Dick Assman! Hey! My name's Rick Glassman! I cannot hear you, Dick Assman, because there are dicks in your ass, man! Doodle 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 doodle
Yeah, and I remember it, it bothered me for a while, but that's when I realized when people say things to you, oftentimes it's less about who I am and it's more of a reflection of them and or whoever the subject may be. And that's what you say to feel better about yourself. I don't even say it. I just think to myself, you know, their reality exists, but it's not the only one. And um, perspective isn't right or wrong. It's just supplementing other ones. And the more perspectives we have, the better we could feed our comedy eye and understanding for others. The multiverse. Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 Okay. So when you got to Chicago. Yes, I arrived. Th did you have a Chicago dog? I was, hello. I went to, <laughs> yes, yes, yes. I went to a place called the Wiener's Circle. Now, Sorry, but in Germany, yeah. Wieners are a big Wiener. part of your culture. Uh, yes, I mean, we, we have many, we call them more, well, Wiener of Schon, but we call them Wurst, many Würste, we have Würste, we like the meats and the sausages, yes. and I think Chicago has some Germany in it, inside it. <laughs> oh, know. it did, <laughs> it did in, in, when you're in your 20s, when yeah. you were in Chicago. Oh, I get it, sex, <laughs> sex. No, literally, when you went oh. to Chicago. Oh, yes. So what did you do? You go there, you... you I arrived and many people there were very, very hippy hoppy and very rap and, and good at oh, this. Oh, so this hype man was very hip hop oriented oh, and you're more techno Wiener schnorz. I don't understand any of the things, right. you know, and as, so I was just going to a tent, you know, it's like a, a reindeer at a, at a soap opera, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And so uh, that's what occurred. <laughs> yeah. And yeah. did you, how did you do? I won. First place? Yes. And what is the prize? Three thousand dollars on a very large check, and then also um, I really, it was one of those big Happy Gilmore checks. Put up an image. Thank you. Yes, it was very big like this, and then also I won many gears from um, from a radio, the Vicky Vicky, and headphone and and a hat. Interesting that they have a budget to fly you out. Yeah, transatlantic. Or yeah. you can't say that anymore. Um, Atlantic sexual. Atlantic. Yeah. And they had the money for that yet. The winner only gets what a plane ticket cost. That's correct. I had huh. enough of the dollars into euros to re return home and then have two nights uh, in a nice hotel outside München. And then did that do anything to jumpstart your career or was it just a fun experience? It was very exciting for me because you know how you have an experience time and you're like, hey, maybe more of this, please. Thank you. And that Give me an example other than that. Oh, so I have arrived to In-N-Out Burger and I said, hello, I would like your grilled cheese with extra pickle and no sauce. Mm -hmm. And now you're like, that didn't change your life, but it taught you something that you like to want to chase. And I would like more of those, please. Right. And so now, so then I said, let's move to America and let's make a pursuit and see a trivial pursuit and see what happens here. Who knows? Nobody will know. You know how mm -hmm. I mean? And so then I received some occupations, which was nice. Are you close with your family? We are semi-close, yes. Before you moved, were you the same semi-close, more or less? We are the same. Well, they were very confused and fearful of my career choices um, because I have a science background yeah. in engineering. And so to pursue something with techno uh, and then also Hollywood is a confusing place. Yeah. As, as you know, you have been on your, your show many, you have had so many of, you have had a lot of. Um, what are some of your shows? Uh Undateable, hmm. futile, stupid gesture as we see it. Not dead yet, coming on ABC um, no, early next year. Okay, so, okay. So, um, yeah, I mean, you know how confused it is because with your career, with Untraceable and then also the gest gest gestures, court gestures, and then, of course, we see it, all of it. So mm -hmm. you have had a career that is also so full. So were your parents disappointed in you or were they more like like scared that it might not work. They were afraid because they have a, they are concerned about my mental faculties and also just you know like existing in Earth, and so they were just concerned if I'm very far away, what happens if like I forget how to like eat a food, right. you know, purchase right. purchase um, calories. Do you have a brother or a sister? I don't have a brother. Also, and uh, spoiler alert. Also Hold on, spoiler alert. That people have opportunities sorry, to turn sorry, it sorry. off. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Yeah, yeah. Go ahead. It's just if you say spoiler alert, yeah, 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 you know, yeah, it's no. like you got How long to wait? So? It's fine. Okay. Just like literally a beat. You were good. I also have no sister. What? So a lot's riding on you for your family. S mm. Mm hmm. Well, you know, if, if you know, if there was other kids, it would be like, well, oh. you know, Flula's doing his stupid thing. And but, but Blappy is there, yeah. and Blappy is a good teacher, and mm. Flampy, Flampy, wow, what what amazing uh -huh. roles Flampy begs. German people have the funniest names. 
It's true. So do you, uh, are your parents uh, uh, alive? It, are, they, are they in the sciences? Are they in academia? Are I they? Th they are like teachers. They are teachers. They have retired off the teachers' places. Right. Yeah. And so, so, um, and so to make a segue, Rich, Rick, Ricardo. I have a, I have a game on my podcast that oh, I do. Oh, boy. Where uh, to kind of like, I've learned when you're talking to people one on one, a way to bring them in mm. is to. Uh, I, you say their name, right. and then you question if you said it right, and then you exclaim that it was correct once they. I'll show, well, you just did it, but like oh. Flula, Flula. Oh um, yes, Flula. When I was seventeen, you know, it's kind of like you're you're engaging them, you're being direct with them, you're you're you're. It's a it's a, it feels like it's a give and take, but really you're in control, and now they're there. But you don't remember. It's a sign that you don't remember the name. It's it's. And well, there's different ways of doing it. There's putting it aside like you don't remember, but I don't like that one. I like more checking in if I'm saying it right. Flula, Flula. F yes. Flula. Yes. You know, as opposed to fl uh, Flula, Flula? No. Yeah, that's, that's uh, more demeaning. Okay. Rick, 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 Rick. <laughs> Very hype. Yeah. So are your parents proud of you? Do they not care? They, or in between, they are in the as you said. They are this. They are these eighteen centimeters, and so very. Was that a, a because eighteen centimeters? No, because uh, uh, studs in a wall are usually eighteen inches apart, and I was so, wondering if that's what you were getting. Oh, at. nice. Do you are you familiar with home building? Um, you know, I like to learn how to do things, and I, I usually remember how to do them. So I'm not a master of much, but I, I know enough of almost everything. Okay, so that's a very fun time. Mm. I'm excited to know you, Rick Glassman. Thanks. Mm -hmm. And so, Rick, Rick, R Rick, mm -hmm. Rick, Rick. You're when you moved here by yourself. Is yeah. that a? You're in your twenties. You're not a kid anymore, but you're very young. Yeah, I'm still. Yeah, very much young, very youthy. And you get here, and what is what is the feel? You move. You don't move to Chicago. You move straight to LA. I moved to Los Angeles because Los Angeles is like a megaphone. You know, where if you are, if you make a whisper and you are located in Des Moines, Iowa, no one may hear you. Right. But if you whisper in the Studio City, or, you know, Silver Lake or something, wow, everyone is a many decibels that have come out of your ass. So there are more. Oh. You have you have uh, more opportunity in a in a in a town like this. In this confusing as. You you said town. Yes, this was a metaphor where when I'm saying megaphone, I did not purchase. Uh, yeah, no, yeah, yeah. Okay. Oh, okay. Yes. And uh, like I didn't, you know, I was, I'd meant this like if I, uh, if I post something or perhaps I meet a fame person, I didn't mean like I have like the, um, how do you call it? Megaphone. Yeah. You just, you just knew the word right before. But mm. yeah, no, I, I understand what you're saying. You're saying that as a metaphor. Mm. So what, a lot of people say, I've had a lot of very, very. Thank you. I, I've had a lot of very famous, successful, um, hot, cool people on this podcast. Oh, name those immediately. Scotty Pippen. Scott, uh, I've had um, Lamorne Morris. Oh, yes. I've had Megan Trainer. Oh, yeah. Josh Groban. Oh, yeah. Eric Griffin. Oh, yeah. And what I found that a lot of people will say things like when I'm talking about some of their successes in a moment where from here to here, there is a big difference in not sure if things are working. Now I'm paying my bills. Now I'm buying a nice car. Uh -huh. And people usually, um, I don't know if they're forcing it or if they were taught it or if they mean it. There's a bit of like a humility where they go, no, I haven't really made it or whatever that thing may be. So uh -huh. without wanting to say that like, now that you've now that you're the king, right? Mm. But but just now that you're able to afford a personal trainer, you're working in things, you're in studio things, people know you, you have a great fan base. Now that you're uh, this thing, mm, right? Mm -hmm. When did that start for you? What was the thing that you came here that kind of got you like pre going on Conan and pre pre uh, um uh, uh having a lot of subscribers on YouTube? What kind of like oh I'm going to hook my, your in and out analogy. I'm going to hook my teeth into this because it wasn't being a hype man. I made a techno song called uh, Flula in Germany. I was deported 
And so uh, when I was deported from, I was here only for just some months and I had some deep... You moved here and got deported. Yeah, immediately. And I was very much sadness. And so when I returned to uh, Germany to make my frown go down round, to make myself... More, frown upside down. Thank you. Yeah. And so to, to do this with my face, I, I wrote a song about four things I love about Germany. The big four. That's a big four. You know how it is. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Basically, it's uh, KG, Ray Allen, um, Paul Pierce plus Kendrick Perkins. It sounds like a 3.1 as opposed to a four, but because well, you did plus Kendrick Perkins. Oh. Uh, but yes, go ahead. So the four things you love so much about Germany. It's my grandfather. Uh, it's a Döner kebab, which is not German, but we we are having many Döner kebab stands. Very delicious. Bread and then, of course, poodles, who are, which are German that I'm loving. And so I made a techno song about these things. R Rick? 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 Well, you have to wait for me to, to, to answer you. When you ask, I have to say yes. So Okay, so I made this song about four things, Rick. Mother's father or father's father? Rick. Uh, this would be the father, the mothers of our fathers. Was it a joke or is he really someone you're, you're extra close to? I enjoyed him very much and he was very nice. And so I made a techno song and then this techno song was planted. Uh, I, I planted it into YouTube and then someone found on Reddit this and then it became, it had received. Viral. And then I was like, this was in the early times, yeah. you know? So I was like, oh. What, I, like, er, like mid 2000s? Yeah, yeah. And so I was like, oh, oh, time for maybe doing this more often if I want to become having a fun time, you know? I just did the math in my head because earlier I didn't. And I said mid-2000s, I'm realizing the Berlin Wall wouldn't have been down for 30 years so, then. Yes, that no. That was what, 89? This was, yeah, yeah. It's very uh, correct for you to say this. It was yeah, 19... So I just want to clear everyone that Everyone knows. So it's 1989. Mm -hmm. um, and it's, it's just as the free from sponsorship uh, from uh, EJ's Nito stat of the night. Mm. It's since 1989. Okay. And what about this song going viral lets you get uh, a visa to get into America? Oh, it did not. It's still been a very precarious issue of coming. Still, right now? No, yeah. Yeah. How does that work? I just hope to receive a job. And then they're like, well, but is, can an American man do this as well? And then I'm like, well. You still have to do that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For yeah. people that I do understand the process a bit, because for years I dated a girl who lives in the United Kingdom. Ah. So I'm, I'm aware of this, but could you give a little like talk about some of these challenges that you've had because that's vi that's very it's very hard i understand i just uh, you know uh, i just try to have a job and then i don't pay attention you know how when you like have a closet that is very messy messy oh do you mean like your closets are clean all my t-shirts are color-coded roy g biv do you have roy g biv in germany or is it different because of your language. I've learned about it. I thought it was a professional wrestler name for many years. I could see that. Yeah, but no, it's not the Honky Tonk Man. I always loved The Rock, but Roy G. Biv just... Oh, he, he just... The spectrum of everything you need. Oh, everything. I mean, yeah. his personality, I would say, was just like colorful. And I really, really enjoyed how he would jump. It was always like this. Yeah, because it was a, like a rainbow. Uh, yeah, like other people, this is a straight vector, but not Roy G. Biff. Roy G. Biff is like making a hip hop, a hippie to the hippie to hip hop, the bop, the bop, the Keep going. Or don't stop, I mean. But you don't want to hear the rhythm to the... I do. Book it to be? Or is it, but, you know, a lot of people, when they think of a rainbow, because uh, yeah. for those of you who don't know, Roy G. Biff is the, is the co color order of, of the energy that go through a prism. <clears throat> Red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, violet. And it's a prism, but mm. yet... The marketing of prisms is so, people think of rainbows. I know. And now Why the, is that? Well, because now they're private and now they're funded not even by the government, they're for profit. Are you talking about prisms or rainbows? Pr prisms, like. No, no, prism, you're thinking prison. Oh. Uh, I'm talking like, like um, uh, when light reflects, re uh, uh, ref uh, refracts, what, what, why am I not, uh, reflects, uh, refracts? Huh through a uh, uh, glass, through a prism, and, and, and the light, uh, all the, 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 the spectrum of the light kind of breaks from different energies because red and violet, they, they're different energy wavelengths, so they separate and we see the different colors. Uh, prism, unfortunately, and you know what? I'm gonna make a political statement here. Okay. It's really not that many colors. Prison right now in this country. Yeah. You know, it was just now, uh, people, think that these are live but these came out these were pre-recorded and these podcasts yes and one was recorded <clears throat> not too long after juneteenth okay which celebrates the end of slavery after 
well, the end of slavery. So we say when it's when it was abolished completely from Texas, who was the last one to hold on to it. Yeah, I'm not sure how familiar you are with this. A little bit. I, I'm learning. But you know, in the Constitution, though slavery ended, <clears throat> you know what they say, except for criminalities. Yes, and they get to basically put somebody in prison and make them a slave. In this country, with redlining and with private prisons. Yeah. You know, but I don't want to get into this stuff. Okay. I'm, ha- I'm having Bill Maher on next week and we're going to get into oh, it. Oh, he's very good with these things. Yeah. I'm more the person you should ask about like, um, has, does athlete's foot improve free throw percentages? Does it? No. You know, I once, uh, my brother had athlete's foot. He did have it. Yeah. On both or just feet? Or f- I was so young, I don't even know. So athlete, could have been- Athlete's foot. F- or feet. Yes. Okay. Tough actin to actin. Yes. You spray the can. Bop, 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 bop. If you put it upside down. Oh, you get very much. You know that? Yeah, it's. So I would do it because it would mark would go on my hand. Like you, it, it wouldn't hurt, but you would do it. And it would, and like the, oh, this foam would come out and then like you would see a little circle there for like a minute and then it would go away. And I thought that was very interesting. And I kept doing that. So I did that. And the next day I went to school, didn't think much of it. I had a little mark and I found out I, I ended up going to, I thought that's too long of a story, but one of the teachers had marked down that, that they were worried about me that I burned myself with cigarettes. They never even told me that. I've how, never smoked a cigarette. How old of this? How Eighth grade. Okay. And uh, there was some mark, and, and, and I ended up later on, my parents had to come in that Rick was hurting himself and all these things. And so whenever I think of athlete's foot, I just think of that eighth grade trauma. Wow, I have never done this before. I was afraid to make a tip upside down because of when I was playing in the, uh, in, when I was in the school, my father was my coach and he was disqualifying everyone who was smoking or having other drugs. Mm-hmm. So I did not ingest any of the tough acting to acting. Oh yeah, were people doing tough acting to acting as a drug? Yes. In Germany? Yes. We would get it from the Americans. They would sell us to this. And then also, uh, ro- we call it, they called it Robo. It's not like RoboCop. Uh, this was- it Sounds ro- like RoboCop. I agree with you. And But also a film about his Robitussin. Robitussin? Robitussin. Right. So the, you're chuck, being chuck, chuck. serious about tough acting and acting? Yeah. Really? People no, I, really snort it? I didn't do it. No, I was afraid of this. But people did that? Yeah. Well, what does it do? Does it get you fucking loaded? I don't know. I was afraid. I would see it occurring and then I would run away very quick. You know, I just was like, I will listen to the red You were shoe. like, what, what was the noise he made? You know, more like, I guess it's like a Scooby-Doo. Is a, has, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, hey, <laughs> yes. I, uh, it's, it's Scooby-Doo. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm Scooby-Doo. Hello, Scooby-Doo. How? Shaggy. Yes. No. Come on. You want to edit that in? Which part? Put that in. Put the Scooby-Doo part stuff in. Okay. Okay. Who are we speaking to? Stanley? Mm-hmm. Mm. He's the uh, the guy from the office. Uh, this is his new shop. It is. Uh, he's, I mean, he, I, we were working together for a very long time, but he helps edit. Great. Hi, Stanley. I loved you on the office very much. Thanks so much, dude. He, he'll probably in post put in your, his voice, his your voice mouth. and he'll probably say thanks so much okay. or something. That's great. This is fun. Are you having an okay time? I'm enjoying it. Your time, our time here. Is there anything we could do to make this better? Um, it's nothing that I can say that will be record that can be recorded and then also played back for public. I'll turn it off. No, they also these are still rolling. I can tell you late. It's okay. it, it's very inappropriate. Is it sexual? No. And if it was, I would not say that. What's inappropriate that isn't... Uh, when I think of inappropriate, I think of it, of it either being sexual <clears throat> or like uh, scatological humor, like poops. Poopoo's fine. Poopoo's fine. Illegal... Illegal and 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 illegal. Oh, I think of that more as dangerous and inappropriate. Ah, okay. Like hateful or danger. Ah, so I got it. Uh, Rick Glassman, you are a man. What are other topics that are co- I've never seen? This is a podcast? Yeah, you've never seen a podcast or this one? I've not seen, I don't uh, I don't watch so many things. I watch Breaking Bad. I just rewatched Breaking Bad. How did you enjoy it? Oh man, let's just say by the end, I was treading lightly. <laughs> oh, um, because uh, Annie Lennox are walking on broken glass? Oh, I never actually made that connection. But mm. yes, but Walter says it to his his uh, Annie Lennox's brother, Fruity. Mm-hmm. She says, um, 
He says it to uh, what's his name? The 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 DEA agent. Jesse Pinkman. No. No, the DEA agent. Hank Schrader. Hank, yeah. Um, yeah. when they're confronted in the garage and oh. Hank now knows, spoiler alert. Hank is making his beer in the garage. Yeah, and he goes, uh, well, no, this is when Hank is in the garage putting together, he realizes that, again, spoiler alert, that Walter- Do you, pop, you should give it a beat. Sorry. I want you give it a beat. Okay. And then what about it? Yes, this is the place where we wait. And then Rick will talk. Freestyle is done. And he is- uh, looking through all the evidence and Walter comes to confront him because yeah. he knows that he knows. Yeah. They close the garage and this is that mo the first time when six seasons, I think it oh, was. Oh, yes. And they go and Walter, who's always been, you know, nerdy and 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 like uh, a low status kind of guy. Yeah. He uh, basically, bef he says to Hank, tread lightly. Yes, and carry a stick. Uh-huh. Yeah. That's such a good show. Oh, it's a very good show. I watched this many. So I've not seen your podcast, but I have seen Breaking Bad three times from the front and also to the back. Hit it. I've hit it from those. Do you rewatch shows often? Yes. What other shows are you are you rewatch around? I've, I've also have seen many times Game of Thrones. I've seen Game of Thrones. I think. Four times now. Same as me, as you. Yes, I very much in, enjoy this show. And then I've also seen uh, Die. So, Die Hard Two. No, Die Hard 1 is, is, sorry, it is the best of those. Is that because there's a German villain? And if that's the case, do you also like The Lion King? Oh, uh, number one, it is not because it's a German villain. He, I love um, this performance very much, um, but it's not a German accent. It's a, not accurate in any way, but that's how, this is how good that it is. It's a wonderful performance, and yet it is not German in any way. But his brother... Hans, is it? Hans Gruber, yeah. Um, who also plays Scar. In Die Hard with a Vengeance, Die Hard 3, he is German. Oh, I have not, I don't remember Night, uh, Die Hard 3. Is this the one with the water and Sam Jackson's like, oh, we got to go to the fountain. And they're like yeah. trying to hydrate. Yeah, I think there's like a five gallon jug and a three gallon jug and, and they need to make it, yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm really good with riddles. And I remember as, even as a kid, I figured it out before they did. You did? Yeah. Oh, good. Are you good with riddles? No. I'm, I've, we have talked, as I've seen, Rick, 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 Rick. I am not so good uh, with anything. You, uh, so I'm, gonna, I'm being serious when I ask this. You seem to be, and I don't, because I don't, we don't really know each other. You seem to do a lot of self-deprecation while also being a very like confident, you know, strong choice character. Azul. So I'm uh, I'm confused with what that means and how much of it is real and how much of it is uh, making sure that you're not too much one way or the other. I struggle in life about living, and so the with depression or confusion. What? No, living, living. What do you, you struggle? How? Like how to actually stay alive, or you're sad? What? No, look, we are a species. And we are, <laughs> ain't that the truth? We have learned to say, blah, blah, blah. we have make a sound, yeah. you understand the sound, then we are intelligent enough to make what this is, to mm. then record what, and then now other other are species of us is what, watching this on yeah. a little thing, but also we are on a rock, and the rock is spinning super fast, not the wrestle person, uh, yeah. shout out Roy G. Biff. I was just going to shout him out, I really was. I was, shout him yeah. out. And so we are in the middle of no place. We are in space. What is no place? There is no space. Doesn't end. So you Rick. struggle with life based on existentialism, not not because you don't really know how to. You didn't forget how to eat. Oh well, we have our programs. I've learned the program of how to eat and then how to make a poo poo and right. then how to make a pee pee. I haven't learned how to make a poo poo well enough. I can show you after this if you want. I'm really been struggling. How are the problems? Watch peace. Uh, I, I have to take a lot of magnesium at night and fibers during the day to even squeeze something out. So you don't poo poo enough as much as, much as I like. As you like, well, you only eat so many things. You can. Where does it go? Yeah, I really, I really, I eat so much. Yeah, I really don't know. And so you don't poo poo it out. I poop, but I poop, mm. but I have to take stuff to poop. Oh. If I don't take magnesium, there's a good chance I might not poop the next day. Why do you not poo poo? I've been I've been seeing some doctors and everyone says different stuff. My diet consists of a lot of greens and fibers. Oh, that's nice. Thank you. Um, I can show you what I do. Um, do you drink coffee? I do. Oh. 
Okay. Coffee doesn't do it for me. Makes me, oh, it's a caffeine, it's a, it's a poo poo place. You poop every morning? Well, I only I can only do it at home. I don't do it in a strange location. Because you're you're nervous about doing it or your body really won't do it. My body, I we just have this understand we are like we're like Stockton and Malone. You know, they did not say anything. They just knew this is where the pass goes, this is where I make a shot. And who are you? It sounds like you uh, would be Malone. I would because, be because you make the shot. I would be I think I would be Stockton. And then Malone delivers. Gotcha. Postman. Yeah. Okay. Mailman. Mailman. Although the mail- postman technically works. Yeah. He rings. Yeah. And for me, it's only once though. I do want to know uh, uh, more about why, because you don't know things and like, what does that, what does that mean for you? Are you, is there a mentality of you being in a country that isn't yours that confuses you more? Were you always this way? I feel like earth is a place that is strange. I feel like everything is an odd place. Uh, Hollywood is a weird place. Sure. Los Angeles is a goofy, goofy what, what? I've, have you heard people call it Holly weird? Oh, I like this. Yeah, I get it because it sounds and spells very similar. Yeah. It has the same number of syllables as uh-huh. Hollywood. Yeah. And I think you are going to say Hollywood. Yeah. But then, so you start it and then you... Every time I hear, I always, I'm always like... Well, you guys. And also, it's also, yeah. it, it is highly weird. Oh, how weird is it's it? It's more weird than wood. I would agree with it. I weird agree with it. Oh, I weird <laughs> also because it's a desert climate here. So your friends, you have, do you feel like you have a circle of friends? Or? I have a friends. I would not shape them. Uh, you can. Uh, I understand. It's a figure of speech, but it, I totally yeah. get what you're saying. can be a parallelogram. Yeah. Uh, so, well, parallelogram, remind me what a parallelogram is. that based on sides? Uh, parallelogram is a, if it's a quadrilateral with uh, sides that are parallel on both sides. But it doesn't have to be right angles. It does not have to be right angles, but the two sides are both the same length and also um, parallel to one another. So a parallelogram is not a rectangle. Yes, a parallelogram is a rectangle. But a square, but not always, or always. Correct. So if you have uh, the, the, the diagrams of what is what is what, parallelogram is on the very outside. Right. It's easiest to be a parallelogram. Yes, to be baby. a rectangle, Inside. it has to be four right angles, but they don't have to be equal length. Correct. And then we have square or we have rhombus. Right. So a parallelogram, a square is a parallel- parallelogram. Yes. Always. Yes. Right. And that's a great, that's a great metaphor for perspective. Right about it? Yeah. What? Well, how do you identify? Does just they're not th- people find things, especially in this climate right now. Oh man, yeah, everything what? is mutually exclusive. Where you're either this or you're that. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You yeah. could get with this, or you, you could get, get with, with that. that. What? Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that's where music is the true emulsifier. Would you agree? I don't understand this word. Emulsifying an emulsifying agent in chemistry is something that binds mm. two things together. Hey, and then so. Oh. oh. Yes, what's his name? And the smoky and <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, rude to women. And I have a tank top and hey. I didn't know he was rude to women. Um, I don't know. He might be. I don't uh, know. Who knows? But Andrew Dice Clay. Uh, the, oh, okay. Oh. Maybe he's not rude to I just imagined in my mind right. he's rude. Because he's an aggressive thing. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. I don't understand anything. He's a, an ice man. Uh, speaking of Iceman, have you seen the new Top Gun? I'm very excited to see this. I have not seen it. I um, have. How many Mavericks are in it? Just one. Dirk? Oh, no, no, no. no. I thought you were talking. No, the, it's a Tom Cruise, not the basketball team. It's uh, the fighter pilot thing. No, I don't know this. You've worked with Dirk Nowitzki, haven't you? I love him very much. What's your relationship with Dirk? Uh, we're both German peoples. Uh, he did grow up just some minutes away from me. He once blocked my shot many years ago. He does not remember this. It was just. Did you play? When, was he in the NBA at this time? No. No, this was when I was a teenage and he was a teenage and he was, you know, very good. And I was, eh, you know. And was this, were you guys playing for school or is this pickup? Pickup. Yeah. Yeah. So cool. In the, the Turnhalle, yes. Are you guys still friends? Uh, well, I I would say he is one of my very best friends and he would disagree with this right. if you asked him. That's how I feel about Blake Griffin. Also, yeah. Now, is he in your parallelogram of friends? No. Uh, I would not be so presumptuous about right. that. But I would love this very much. Um, yeah. Do you uh, feel a sense of safety with the friends that you have in California? Is there like a community here or does that, are you still feel like, what the fuck is going on here? I have found some nice friends here. Sorry, I have to make a burping. It was quiet and also I did not want to. Uh, thank, yeah, that's, thank you. <clears throat> yeah. Some people burp right into it. No, don't do it, please. Just make sure they're still going. Yeah. 
I have a nice friends here because they are very friendly and also they are not uh, so biggy wiggy. You know, it's difficult yeah. to to make some friends uh, once you have been here some time. I find. I just made. I think I made a new friend this weekend. Who was it? His name is Marshall. We'll put his Instagram handle up here. Okay, cool. Uh, what does Marshall make do? Um, Marshall is uh, well. He he he's a director. Okay. Um, but he's like. Uh, He's like, uh, I mean, I, I think, in a, and I also want to ask you this question. He will, will not refer to himself as a comedian, also, but he's a very funny guy. Well, these are two different items. I comedian. know many people. The most funny person I know is not a comedian. So when you hear the word comedian, does that mean to you stand-up comedian? It means a man or woman or a person who is paid money. To and, do comedy. And it's like, and then says, I do it. I don't, it's not me. I don't understand You've it. been on Conan so many times doing comedies. I don't know what I've been doing. I have attended- Hold on, hold on, hold on. That can't be real. What do you mean? Jude Law has been on Conan many times. Can't say. Oh. Can't German say. person can't really say. Oh. Uh, Jude. Sorry. Uh, Mr. Law. Mr. Sorry, it's Rebecca. Mr. Law has been on but Conan- you, But you were doing sketch stuff. You were doing things that were invoking laughter. This man who is blowing your lawns right now may be doing this and doesn't know it. He may fall down and slip on a raccoon and then he is blowing into the sky. And if you were paid to do that. He is being paid right now. Not to slip on the raccoon. You don't know this. I, okay. You know, uh, uh, with, with, the, with, the, with, the, with the well of hypothetical that I know that you could create, then sure, I'm, my instinct is to leave it alone. I just truly don't understand how somebody who clearly has a strong sense of awareness doesn't see themselves as that way. And I can't tell, is that definitive or is that just being self-deprecating? Because you're funny. Uh, who knows? I am a man, uh, as many people may be, but for me, I'm a dysmorphic person. Uh, I have very, I, I know that my views are not the actual real-time views of what the world is really like. And I think this is always mm -hmm. like this, but I think all of us do it, but I'm just, every place all over the money is, is how I do it. So, uh, but what does that? What, what? How does that translate to not feeling like you also do comedy? Not that you are just this thing, but like if you're auditioning for something, right? Yeah. And let's say you're auditioning for the Suicide Squad. Okay. By the way, was it an audition or did they offer that to you? Oh, it's auditioned. Okay, you're auditioning. Yeah. And if uh, I'm, I am going to make this more hypothetical, right? And it comes in, they're like looking for uh, somebody that looks like a superhero but has great comedic timing. Do you then think of yourself, ooh, that I fit that niche? Someone told me to audition, so I did it. And so I do this many times. Rick? Rick? Yes. Rick! I do this many times, but I am oftentimes not good at the audition. Being a good comedian, which I think you're very funny, but let's put that aside. I'm not saying you're good at this. I'm just saying this category, this genre, is that something, like uh, when you go to In-N-Out and you get a grilled yeah. cheese, you're like, oh, yes. I want more of this. Yes. When you work and collaborate with funny people and you're doing things that are meant for laugh, is that something that you're like, I wanna keep doing these things or are you more just whatever work I could get to stay in this country? Like what is it that you want in entertainment specifically? I, well, I cannot say to this, but I can tell you in my life, Rick, I like to be, it, it's a flow. I want to be inside of the flow, you know? I the, do. Yeah, and you know, as a hoop man, you play hoops and you have been, I think many times probably, I've seen some footage, you have. My jump shot sucks, psych. That's like saying I ain't got a million bucks. I got a million bucks. I got a million nuts, got a million gives a fuck. You ain't passed the ball enough, eat my butt. You ain't checked the ball out, eat my butt. Back we are... Yeah, it's good. We're back. We are, we are they back. They saw it. We're good. Okay. So in the flow. You have done it. And so you know how it feels to be in the flow of things. So com yeah, very much. And it, it's not, That's it. It's not specific to comedy. Exactly. However, I will say that being in the pocket in comedy, yeah. especially with other people, going back and forth where we literally don't have to speak the same language if we're in this and we do not, comedy. Clearly. That is something that feels so good to me that I do chase it and I want to do it and I want more of it. And it's not just comedy, but that is the one in entertainment that I'm like, oh, my friends, uh, most of the jobs that I've had have, uh, and my relationships, like actual intimate girlfriend relationships, if we make each other laugh, comedy is so important to me. So I, and because of that, because of that flow, when you get it, but it is a big part of it is comedy specific and you don't feel that way. No. 
Um, well, also there is much anxiety to me about, oh, is it thing that I'm, because is it funny? Is it funny? Is it, when you always are the asking judgment. this, it's not fun. Right. That is not fun. What I like is just you are in the flow and you are making something nice. It can be a house of birds. It can be a basketball. We are playing a nice- House of birds is a birdhouse, right? It's like, a house for birds. Right. Yeah, like the birds living in the yeah. house. I guess it could be a large house with many birds. Mm -hmm. I was, ref I meant like a tiny house where a bird may visit and- Tiny house for us. For Yeah, for our perspectives, yeah, yeah, yeah. yes. But like for a cardinal, it'd be a nice right. uh, sizing of house. Yeah, yeah, I would say if we made it too small, that might be a cardinal sin. Oh, I get it. Uh, yeah. Do you like play on words? Uh, do I like a play? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then I really, I really do like that. If you could do anything um, in mm -hmm. entertainment, if somebody, if you got a development deal to Albert create Pujols something. Albert Pujols was a cardinal. I don't know much about baseball, but I do know the name Albert Pujols. Pujols? Pujols? House. That's a German uh, uh, house. suffix. Well, it's also just house. It's like a house yeah. is a house. Sorry, please. You are continuing to say. What is, uh, uh, if, if there was something that you could create, I'm talking like, Anything in entertainment, Sky music, television, whatever it is that they're going to cut you a check. Yeah. And, uh, and, and the reason the power at B will cut you this check is because they want whatever you make for audiences to come and enjoy it. What would that thing or things be? Do you have that defined for yourself? It would be an action show and it would or film and it would have comedy also in it sometimes. Brilliant. But I don't know who will do it. And, you know, I don't know what will be funny and who makes a hee hee ha ha. Because it's editing. You can make any show. You can believe me. Any show can be a haha, -ha and any show can be a oh oh. Ask Stanley. It S truly is Stanley editing. Stanley knows. Editors are the are, are the are the writers are the parents of the writers. I That's feel like correct. Yes. Yes. Um, but yeah, so it sounds like so comedy. You like it. You just don't want to be worried that if it doesn't work, if it's not funny, I still want it to work. It sounds like to answer the question, my life is most fun when I'm flowing very much, and it doesn't so much matter if it is with an audience or if it is with a hee hee ha ha. Mm -hmm. Or I, I just like this out idea of I am concentrating on something nice, and it is turning out in a fun way to me in this moment. Yeah, I get that. We have no control of everything else. So this is when I, this is what I am chasing in a healthy way. How does that translate with making the beats? Because that's a yeah, flow for you, baby, right? Yeah, baby, yes, go, yeah. Is yeah. there something that is satisfying to you with the mathematics of it and the patterns of it that it's like, even though I get to go wherever I want, there still is a built-in structure if nobody could see it? Yes, and you know if this rhythm is good. And so I don't understand comedy in any way, but it also has a rhythm, everything does. Also with comedy is just one thing also that has rhythm, as yeah. does a nice basketball game and you can see it. And then also you can see if a mental brain is inside it. I was watching the finals and I was watching Stephen Curry and he was very good in all of the games, but game five, he was terrible. And you could see in his eyeballs, he was not inside the zone. Mm -hmm. You want to be in the zone and then you are in the rhythms. I refer to this zone you're speaking of a few times on this podcast. I think of it when I feel it, like I have the star in Mario to where... Where I, for whatever reason, when you're in it, you could do things that you normally couldn't do. Yeah, baby. You yes. could walk into the bad guy instead of jumping on him. You can hit that turtle, and the yeah. turtle is popped up. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Um, you said um, when you moved, or not moved, when you came to Chicago, that you thought it was to your advantage that you were, it's all these people that are hip hop and American, and you came here with this different perspective, this different language, this different energy, and you thought that worked to your advantage. Right. I make a big mistake if I make a too much of a if I'm making a copy of other things. So I don't understand um, so much. Uh, how do you say? Um, are you okay? Is everything yeah. good? Yeah. Um, I make the most mistake if I'm trying to do. Oh, this is it. Sorry, sorry, Rick. Rick, I don't know um, how to say this out loud. Safe. I like to be ignorant because if I am not if I am not ignorant, then I know things, and then these things may impact my brain's freedom. I could articulate that. I feel that way, um, and actually, and I've I've said this on the podcast, but I'm always saying it wrong. I'm paraphrasing a Mark Twain quote: "Being wrong isn't the issue. It's uh, it, no uh, uh, being wrong is not the issue. It's knowing you're right when it just ain't so, or something like that. Like I, I, it's it's such a turn off to me." And even though I was, I was making jokes of regurgitating sound bites earlier, but that truly is, especially in the political landscape, of people saying things that they know because they heard it and taking it as something they know. 
And oh yes, despite saying I, I, you know, I know how many inches there are between studs in a wall. I don't know anything, and there's such a there's such a uh, a, a real a, a place of um of comfort in accepting the truth, which is maybe I, I you know. Well, you are telling you are telling to me now what I am saying to you about yeah, I my get whole. What you're saying. This is that's it. Nobody knows really many things at all. And then the people that are the most confident about the things are usually incorrect anyways. And they can only say they are right, but that's if you ignore all of these other things. And then it's just black. Everything must be black and white. Michael when, Jackson. He was black. I mean. The song, though. I'm talking more of the song. So, so, yeah, yeah, yeah. Dangerous album. Very good. With my doodle. Oh, we can't. S oh, sorry. I uh, know. It's, it's, it's okay. We got to cut that. Stanley's. It's fine. Do you want us to bleep it? Yeah. Bleep it. So, um, your action, your action movie with comedy in it is not an action comedy to you. Who knows? I just want it to be entertainment for me to make it because then, you know, usually it is also good. I am. S you watch some things and get inspired, right? Right. And there, one of the things that gets me consistently inspired the most is watching 80s um, Van Damme, double, double, double. Uh, Kickboxer, Bloodsport, double blood impact. Sport especially. Oh, yeah. Especially. Um, double Dragon, yep, I was thinking. Yep, yep. Okay, okay. Uh, uh, did you play any video games? I did. Uh, I played Remember a lot of Shinobi and I also played Killer Instinct. I was Glacius. Yeah, I could see that. Yeah. Uh, watching those movies that are based just on the tone that is just that's it's there's a novelty to it now yeah it's like really but it's taking itself seriously it's not trying to be that thing i love that tone so so much and i too if somebody said what do i want to do i know it's comedy but all the comedy things i want to make an action movie not a comedy i want to do it as serious as i can where i am one of the heroes in it and just by design you know why there's there's um uh, it, when when breaking down comedy, sometimes like, well, why does it, what is this joke? Funny or not, why, why does this joke work? The Holly Weird joke works because you're keeping everything the same, removing just the smallest thing, right? Nobody, maybe somebody, if, if somebody never heard of Hollywood, they wouldn't even know we changed it. Correct. I want to make an action movie of that genre, but no joke. The only joke is that I'm in it. Thank but you. I'm going to try my fucking hardest. A Deadly Adoption with Will Ferrell and Kristen Wiig. Have you seen this or know of this? Is, is this the, the Hallmark movie? Yes. I saw clips of it. Per exactly what I'm talking about. Different genre, but yes. Yeah, I didn't see it also, but the idea of this is what excites me very much. My, a lot of my comedy is that. Uh, and I, I don't want to get into to, to it, but I've learned that the reason is because I too felt like I don't know what is. And I can't, I don't know how to control anything. I don't know why things work or don't work. So let me just take a structure that I at least understand mathematically and just put myself in it. And then people think it's real. They don't think it, it doesn't matter. I don't know. I'm just fucking doing a thing. It's so fun. It's the best. And yeah. also there's no wrong as exactly. long as you're being authentic. Yeah, correct. Correct. And then you cannot, so then you stop the worries. I got to say this part, this right now, I get it so much just from this, from this conversation. Yeah. Yeah. You just, it doesn't matter how people receive it. No. I will say the difference, or maybe not a difference is, in my head, the reason why I could envision it, if I were to direct this, the, my argument to myself of why I believe I could execute this is because though that's the tone and none of it matters and none of it's real, I still know if you subscribe to that religion, the final product will be funny. Yes. If you commit, well, this is the secret of Will Ferrell. It's not a secret. He just commits 10,000%. Mm -hmm. That's the secret. Mm -hmm. He's like, it's the dumbest shit. It doesn't matter. It's the it's this fact that he is just doing it so hardcore and he's not he's not pumping easy. He has no brakes. Yeah. That is what I love. This is my- Eyes are watering, by the way. It happens on the pod sometimes. Why? I'm feeling emotional talking about this thing. Oh, yeah. Yeah. That is so much bigger than making a product. Mm -hmm. It's really how I see the world. Hmm. And just like, it, fuck, it doesn't matter. It, it, are you being serious? I, I don't know. I mean, like, yeah. <laughs> yeah. But also like I'm saying it silly. Yeah. Well, this happens all the time. 
People always do this. This is how relationship miscommunications happen. Mm -hmm. You say a thing you mean, but you are maybe feeling weird about saying it, so you say it, and then they receive it weird, but you actually meant it in a real way, and then they take it wrong. They took it wrong because the tone didn't match what they expected. Yeah. Also, something I've said on this podcast, that because people would always say, I never know if you're joking or serious, and I always say, those two things aren't mutually exclusive. You know, back to the square conversation. Like, I just, I, I said it in this silly way, because if I didn't, I would have, at least as a kid, would have felt judged. Yes. So I just said it in a way that I've I've seen in a movie. Yeah. But yes, sit on the blanket. I don't want the outside clothes on the couch, you know, like whatever the thing is. It's a real thing. Have you been this the way your whole life or is there something that has to do with some, being in different cultures that... Oh, I don't know. I mean, I know that I switch... When I'm in the different culture, I feel like a different person. This is a different conversation, but it, no, it isn't. Go oh, on with well, that. Well, when I am in Germany, I I'm a different. My personality is different. Um, is everything okay? Yeah. Uh, but in in America, I'm I see myself switch. I've spoken with my German friends who are like, "Dude, you are a different person in America. Mm -hmm. It's just a it just happens." How much of that is based on you feeling fish out of water versus the language itself? The language and the culture are linked. You cannot separate those two. I mean, English as a language is something, but like American as a language, I will say, mm. has everything tied to it. In the same with German. You know, when you speak German, you say things in a certain way yeah. which makes you think in a certain way. And this is not just because they have different cultures, but the words, it's all connected. There's a, there's a I don't know where they are. I just remember reading there's some indigenous tribe somewhere in the world and they do not have in their language left and right. Ah. They only have north, south, east, west. Ah. So they, it's not to the right of me. It's, it's now, you know, it's to the South and like, and I remember, and though you could look at that as, Oh, interesting. They probably are good with knowing which way's North and not, yeah. but also that language dictates the perspective of life in general of like, like relativity isn't to it. So it's, it's always based off of the same thing. It's not based off of my right. It's, it's south, and when you think of south, that's that's where the ocean is, or whatever the thing might be. It's just the language that we use, how we perceive life. Um, uh, I remember I heard once, and I, I like to think this way, like I don't have to do something, I get to do something. Mm. And that actual language is not just a word, it's a difference between gratitude and annoyance. Oh God, yes. What I hate is how the simple things sound so simple and stupid and pithy, but they are just true. Like what you've just said is true. Like I'm finally understanding truly that the language you use towards yourself yeah. matters. And I hate that we all know this like intuitively, but no one, very few people I've, I see in it's my life. It's too simple. It's too simple. So we dismiss it. And also we can then dismiss it. And we just don't do it. It's all the shit we already know is true. How you speak to yourself is how you view yourself. I have a good analogy of things we know are good for us, but we just don't do. And we'll do it another time. Yeah. Stretching. Of course. Stretching. Eating well. Yes. Getting good sleep. Exercise. What, yeah, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Because doing it once or not doing it once doesn't really have that much of a detrimental effect, relatively speaking. So you get out of that rhythm. Easy. Yeah. So easy to fall out of it. And so that's why, like you mentioned, a trainer, I pay this man dollars, real dollars, and that I do it. So now I'm in this routine. I will never stop. And I have this dumb uh, human reason, which is money. But really, it's just the healthiest thing you can do for yourself is that we actually let's let the audience in on this would you like to tell them no please uh we met because we share a trainer we do i just started working out again Ex boy are my arms tired hey i got it because you flew in mm -hmm. from uh, yeah. from dusseldorf or where where i mean wherever it could be but this this situation yes uh, that's from harry potter which part to dusseldorf no it's a, a german city there's an airport there as well. yeah but that's where they filmed harry potter they, at the airport? Yeah, the train station was filmed at Dusseldorf. Uh, at the, oh, wow. And um, okay. And uh, the reason I am with this trainer yeah. is because I was, I've had injuries for years. I've been having a problem working. I, I'm like, I, 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 even though I know how to do this and I used to do it all the time by myself, I need not just some education and some alternative exercises, but that motivation of like fight through this pain. And I saw you on Instagram and... You look amazing. Oh. When I said this to you, you said? Genetics. Right. Yeah. Thanks, dad. Uh, <laughs> you're welcome. Yeah. He would say. He would say this, yes. In the middle, by the way. Mm -hmm. Not, yeah. He's he's 16 centimeters he's away from each side of how close you are. Mm -hmm. And uh, you just looked awesome. Oh. Um, so uh, one could argue that if you didn't get that audition for uh, Squid Games, yeah, then I wouldn't uh, have been working out right now. Correct. 
That is Holly Weird. Yeah, it's a weird. That's a weird with a double I. That's yeah. A, yeah. But uh, I really like him. Paolo. Yeah. Paolo Maschitti, shout out. Yes. Shout out. A very unique, uh, wonderful person and the best at the job that he has. And uh, you had a session right after mine and we were um, finning each other's sentences. Oh, yes. And uh, as we were walking out and it was like, how you doing? We did a little like da, 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 da. A beedly bop, yeah. And yeah. then um, he... Uh, Kind of did like, uh, I think, I don't know if you had this in German high schools, but this was more in movies, I think, anyway, in uh, America, where you, there's a girl and you're like, do you think I'm cute? Uh, and you hand it, or somebody says, you know, such and such thinks you're cute. Make your mark heavy and dark. Yes. Yeah. M-Y-M-H-A-D. Yes, was he wig baby? And, uh, but it was an organic one. Like, it, he kind of just like... Oh, would you? He's like a matchmaker. Yes, he is. Have you noticed this? Does he do that? He does this, and it's not only for intercourse. Oh, mm-hmm. no, yeah, no, I know. Oh, yeah, okay. And uh, yeah. uh, and then right away you came in your podcast and it's like, oh, look at like, this is like rubbing elbows in Hollywood, but oh, from weird. exercising. <laughs> yeah. Holly weird, yeah, yeah. Yeah, do you remember? Because you said it. But why did we bring him up? We were talking about uh, working out. You are, we were talking about how we do things. Uh, we know what is good to do. We don't do it. And right. it is obvious. And you pay monies because you know it's good. Yes. And that's like the outside worldly reason I do it. But really, it's because I need it. Yeah. Do you have other things you do? Or some? Have you adopted some nice things in your life that you don't have to do, but you do because you know they are good? Yeah. Well, a lot of them are around my uh, obsessive compulsive disorder that I've realized I have to do. Oh, you have this OCD? Um, I do. Ah, okay. And it's gotten, in the past <clears throat> few months, so much better. Great. And the reason, at least in great part, is due to the logical brain telling me things I need to do, despite me thinking I could push it aside. Going outside. I mean, I would go days and days at a time without going outside. I would order food delivered because I didn't want to go outside. Um, I just edit and work and film from home. Guests come over. Um, but you work jobs, like you have acting jobs. When I have, to, when I had to go outside, I would. Mm-hmm. But I would go so long without going outside. And I've started now. I have. I can make coffee here, mm-hmm. but I've started to go and walk to get my coffee because. Once I get outside, whenever I get, going outside and showering, I, although I shower anyway, but like there is always, always a thing when I get in the shower and or when I walk outside, I always think to myself, I got to be doing this all the fucking time. Yes. But I don't, I, I mean, I, <clears throat> I shower only because I'm OCD and I need to clean myself, but I, I don't realize how relaxing it is and how getting out of the shower is like, oh. Well, we are very strange species. We know all of these things are true and then we experience those things and then we forget that that was the thing we just did yesterday. Do we forget? I'm really asking, or do we not prioritize? I think we are so, there are such strong drivers in chemicals and emotions that mm-hmm. make us forget, uh, that force our brains to quote, forget. What tools do you have that help you remember those things and force them? Do you parent yourself that way? Like getting a trainer, like how do you do the things that are good for you, even though you forget? I routine them and then I, uh, I link them and then I also, um, streak them so that sounds like shits but no what it, also, it sounds like a like what you would hear in a business meeting I remember know. routine i know repeat and streak or- and by the way though they are effective but because they sounded like something from seven habits of highly effective people by stephen covey you think it's a terrible picture little picture please you think it's a terrible idea that doesn't make it a bad idea. Good ideas come from all the places. Could you give me specific examples? I wake up in the morning and I am now so, I have now been meditating for 175 days or so in, in the row. So now like the Seinfeld X's to write comedy every day, mm-hmm. I don't want to miss my meditation streak. Right. So I meditate every morning, even if it's terrible. Right, so streaks are important because it's it's a motivator. It's yeah. somebody saying, don't, don't lose, you know, Stephen Curry just lost his uh, most three pointers in consecutive consecutive games with three pointers yeah. and now he might not be as motivated to hit a three although maybe not the best example but uh, but uh, but this is so true now it's a dumb reason but the co- the effect is the most important thing i use a root i use this reward of i'm still on my streak which is just fooling my brain that's not what matters it's part of the logic behind aa if i'm not mistaken maybe I mean, very part just like how many days sober it's like dr- making a drink taking a drink although there's more important reasons, but one of the things that is easier to visualize is, yeah, but then I lose all of this. Yes, but even if you break it, that's the other thing I've learned is recovery is the most important point right. because I always am doing a stupid thing. And then what I would do is feel terrible for days, 
about the stupid thing. Now I'm like, I allow myself a very stupid thing. I'm like, well, now the trick is just start over immediately. Would so, you give me another example uh, other than meditation? Eating very terrible. I will eat like a just a, a swine, a swine man for like a day, 1.5 days. Or I am so, I cannot get off the, off the couch. And so it's just like, oh, I am stuck on this couch. And what gets you to go, remember uh, routine, streak, and what was the other one? Uh, uh, I forget. I uh, forget the first. I routine them and then I uh, I link them and then I also um, streak them. Oh, oh you're right, yeah, right, 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 that right, one, right, yeah. yeah, yeah. Um, so <laughs> that's what I do. Is this uh, something that was learned? Well, now I just realized I, um, yes, I, I, I made a decision at the beginning of this year to just get better at things mm. because I'm I'm like well I'm not this isn't working my life currently so I need to and what made you recognize it wasn't working uh, I was like it f was feeling like I was banging my head against a, a wall I don't know if there was like a magic waking up I just was like this is I need to start doing these things But you're not speaking of career because no. pre last year you were still doing great stuff yeah, but I like... You're I, feeling, you didn't feel... Well, you know, in this, in Holly Weird, uh, the routine is so bad. Uh, there is no routine. There is no structure, you know, so we have to make it ourselves. So I need a structure badly. So I wake up and I meditate. I write in the journal. I do, I write a, in some gratitude things, mm -hmm. some intentions, all of these things that sound cheese nuts. I do those. I high five a mirror every morning, which also sounds weird, but whatever. I w listen to a podcast. It sounded like a fun idea. So I do this. Fingerprints on the mirror, but you always do the same spot. Don't touch the mirror. Gotcha. It just, it looks, it's an illusion of optics. Yeah. You know, like it's like a prism. Uh, no. It's, Prism. Sorry, yeah. Uh, and then uh, I also, uh, what's these three things? Oh, and I um, I do stretches. Vegas nerve stretches. And I feel great every day because now I've done these things. Yeah, I can show you how. it's You t tilt and then your eyes must go into very, very far the other place like this. So you're like this. Yeah. Boop. Don't yeah. you do that if you have crystals in your ear that... Uh that, that give you type of, type of vertigo, that oh, stretch, yeah, you know that, that one? That's from that TV show V? I don't know, I just remember I was feeling a little dizzy oh. and uh, my my uh, my now ex-girlfriend uh, gave oh, me- I'm sorry. Thank you. Um, we're still very close, friends and everything's lovely. And oh, just, you know, I don't mind. talk about it much on here because she's been on it a few times and- Great. Uh, but just wanna say, we love you. Okay, yeah. And uh, they, uh, it was like this YouTube tutorial, like a very specific stretch yeah. on your bed, your leg this way hanging off, but that was part of it. Yeah, so man. it must be a Vegas nerve thing. I believe it well as well that. I don't understand why it's called Vegas nerve. Maybe you shouldn't do it more than two nights. I'm not sure. Good, hey, good. You like that? Yeah. I mean, three if it's like you're with a great group. The, yeah, if you're doing it in a group, three. <laughs> yeah. Maybe. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it can't be clubs, it's gotta be shows. It's gotta be shows, yeah. big time shows. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, do you like Vegas? No, I do, but I like it. As you say, the doses machts, you know what I yeah. say? Yeah, two nights max. Dose, that's right. Uh, do you like blackjack? Um, you mean Jack Black? No, the card game. Oh. Are you good with math? I enjoy mathematics very much. Me too. You would enjoy it? Oh yeah. Like what? Name any two numbers. I bet you have heard of them. Seven. And? 12. 19, but I heard of all three of them. You added those together? Yeah. Oh, did you You just like to add things? Some. Hmm. Is this, that's that's what you enjoy or? Some, S summing S things. S summing things, yeah, yeah. S-U-M-ing, yeah. Uh, I had one of my compulsions was, I say was because I don't have to do it anymore, but whenever, and it's also not the safest, but when cars would drive by, uh, I would sum the license plates really quick. I was really good at it. I do something very similar. Pun intended? Yeah. Very similar. Um, something. Mm, something, got it. I do something very similar as you, sometimes. <laughs> what do you do? Sometimes. Hey, it's for horses. It, so what do you do? Um, give me any four numbers, uh, single digits, yes. one through nine. Two, six, eight, four. Uh, two, six, 20. eight, four. Yeah. Okay, so I would do the eight is on its own. And then you have a six, four, and a two, right? Yeah. So six over four plus two, that makes a one. Eight plus one is nine. Um, basically, what I want, what I do with the four digits is I use any kind of arithmetic I want to mm -hmm. equal a nine every time. Wow, that's complicated. It's fun. I have a, a 
I could do th- math in my head well, but when I hear the numbers, it's nowhere near as- No, it's visual. You yeah, can, you too? Same. Um, tell me if you connect with this at all. Um, uh, I'm not trying to have it reach a certain number. Um, it's usually much more simple for me. It's just summing. Um, but when I do it, I'm not usually adding them. They, they Like eight and two, to me, eight has the two circles, so two fits into it. I, at any, any patterns that, that, that equate to a five or a 10, just there's no adding, they just fit. Six and four, I always think of a six this way and the four fits into it. Hmm. Seven and three, the, 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 length of, the length of the top part of the seven versus the, the, the leg is shorter and the three fits under it like an umbrella. <laughs> and, and there's something so calming about seeing, and that's not just single digits, just all around. Um, that's fun. And it's not, not really summing to me, it's just it's seeing things like f- that are disordered fit. Mm-hmm. You're, I mean, you're doing something different. Is there something that you see that you could explain with numbers and uh, how you do it? Because why is seeing better than hearing? Well, for me, I just need to, I, he, you, I'm just, it's not the way I learn. Like, that's why, like when you, a, a lecture is a terrible item for me mm-hmm. in general. So that's why I need to see it personally if I write it down or it's why Paolo, our friend, he has to hold my phone to see anything. It's like he's blind. I show it to him, but he can't see it until he holds the phone and looks at it. Is there a chance that maybe when you show stuff, you go like this and your hands are shaking? Yes. Okay. Because we have just worked out. I've right. just done a big set of buys and tries. And boy, are your arms tired. Oh, they are because I flew in. From Dumbledore. Do have, it's, I see. I see. Yeah. It's Düsseldorf. And so Dumbledore was a professor with a beard. Yes. And Düsseldorf is a city with an airport. What's the difference when you think about it? Well, one is a human person character, and the other place is where flights... Is uh, he human? Okay, that's correct. We don't know. No, I don't know. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. Like, it doesn't matter. I just flew in from Dumbledore, and boy, are my dussels yeah. fatigued. Uh huh. Hmm. What were we just talking about? Numbers. Yeah. Numbers. So, yeah. so what, 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 what makes you be able to find the... Uh, answer that you want. What is? What do you see when you're looking at them? I'm looking for ways to make ones and nines because if you make a one, you can do anything to a one that you can sure. then connect to yes. a nine very easily. But this is, bar- I don't know who is listening to this, but this is what I do. Yeah, that's my uh, my thing I must do. Yeah. Are you happy? Yeah. Often? Now, yes. Since you made some changes at the beginning of the year? Well, I have emotions that that are highways through my brain all the time of sadness and confusion and depression and all of these things. But I have routines that save me and then they help me every time. We were outside when we were walking in. Yes. And uh, you said, how you doing? Good. Uh, and then you're like, I'm, I'm great. I don't know if you're being playful, but it felt, it felt like... Oh, it was great. Yeah. Yeah, I was great. I have had a very nice morning, Rick. I have when I have a nice productive morning I feel good and so I've had one this morning. I don't have them all the time and when I don't I feel bad. And then the recovery is getting back on the streak. Yeah. Streak it up baby. Cuz somebody like as you've been explaining as everything is, you know, doesn't make sense, is confusing. Uh, your intention is to just be in the pocket and not have any expectation, which is all great stuff. Yeah. At least that last thing is a great thing to, in my opinion. Agreed. Um but it does seem like with your existentialism and everything that you've kind of been explaining of, I don't know uh, how, you know, how to do life. Yeah. It almost sounds what somebody with depression would say. I, well, to me, it's, the circumstances have not shifted. It's just, you, I'm looking at them much more different now. That's what I'm asking. So what, so you're meditating, you're more productive, but if, <clears throat> I guess I would ask if you were giving this as advice and not just specifically mm. your routine, but what has made my, your existentialism, I don't know how to do anything, turn into, but I'm great. Uh, Well, this is a piece where it sounds like a a terror. What I, this is what I was saying before. I don't even like to say these things because they already sound dumb and cheesy. Right, the gratitude journal type of stuff. So that's the trick. I have calendar reminders in my phone that pop up uh, three times a day that say, focus on your breath and affirmations. How do you focus on your breath? What does that mean? Like literally meditate, just like thinking and breathing in. I just did it. And I'm, Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And through the nose, out through the mouth. Who cares? Doesn't matter. And then I say points of, and then another piece of this is points of contact. So I feel my feet on your table. I feel my ass cheeks on your couch. I've not tooted. I feel the back on this and I feel my arm here. And it's really just, I'm just. Being present. That's yeah, what it's about, right? That's it. That's it. And then immediately I feel more calm. Careful of the. 
coffee have, on the couch. I have the straws up and this low okay. enough, but That's I am. Good. You just, should know I'm very uh, cognizant of this. Okay. So I have a root. This is part of my routine. I remind myself these because even you know, unless you are a fighter pilot person. Dirk Nowitzki. Dirk Maverick. Nowitzki, shout out. Watch out. Yeah. yeah, it's like him and I don't know who else. Name your J.J. Barea. You know what <laughs> I mean? Put a picture of the Top Gun poster, but Photoshop them in. You don't have to. Just put up Top Gun. It's too much work. Whatever you want, Stanley. <laughs> uh, yeah, but that's what I do. These are my tricks. Also, I still am sad all the time. I'm uh -huh. confused all the time. I feel depression frequently, but then I can come out of these things in a way that uh, I did not before. They Sad. don't. Yeah. That do you do you um, do you seek laughter? Uh, no. 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 I do. I seek flows. Yeah, but like when I add, I add. But a flow, flow is a is a is a is a space that you want to find yourself in. Yeah. Laughter is is um. Is something that is brought to you, like putting on a comedy or being around friends that are funny. Like I, I like have got become conscious. Um, Betty, my, my ex, actually, even it's one of those things that seem obvious, but you don't really think about doing that thing. She yeah. was the one who brought up to me, like this person, this person. You're always laughing when you're with them. I, be with them more. Mm. Um, she said that about my buddy Lamorne. Shout out to Lamorne, person screen handle up here. I'm just always laughing with them among m many of my other friends, but like. Sometimes when I'm like, just like, get out of the house, shout, be around somebody who makes you laugh. Ah, like I nice. seek it. And if that's not available, I do like to watch comedies. But like, I do now seek laughter, especially being in the position I'm in as a comedian who has access to some of the funniest people in the world. Like I do like, that is one of my things. Just find something, find, so I'm, I do seek that. I love this. I don't do it like that. Yeah. Yeah, I'm a flow person. And uh, the funny pieces is nice, but that also, I don't know. I don't, uh, like, I don't watch comedies, really. Mm -hmm. I watch, as I told you, like Breaking Bad, Game of Thrones, Die Hard. But there are many funny pieces inside this, and I enjoy those things. But I don't uh, chase it so much. I, don't, I think because it's my job. I've, I've been employed as this. Yeah, I get that. I, I, I used to actually kind of feel that way. Mm. Um, and then I realized, I think there's a part of me that when watching comedies, I don't get to be in the audience because I'm judging or rewriting. And that translates subconsciously past watching comedies. Yes. It's my own decisions. It's people. And I realized, and I've, I've noticed this in a, in a small part within my life, and I've kind of expanded upon how much expectations get in the way of everything. Everything. Um, and I knew that interpersonally. It's something I learned maybe five years ago of like, a lot of the times I'm received, as I've recently learned, not the best. And I never knew that. And hmm. I never really understood, well, what's going on? And then when hmm. I realized the, the like t making wood into weird, the one piece that, that it needed to change wasn't necessarily me or my behavior. It was the expectations people had when I was going in. You are different as a German than an American. Mm -hmm. And a lot of that is preconceived expectations that exist. You're not wrong for noticing them. Mm -hmm. There's a certain way people behave. Yes. But if you could condition them um, hey, I'm not from this country. People will already give you a little bit of something. Yes. You know what I mean? Um, and I did that a lot in comedy. And I did that when I was on this TV show. It was a multicam called Undateable. And uh, I didn't love it. Mm -hmm. I loved working. I loved the people. Um, I just, I, I, I couldn't be funny with these lines. It wasn't my wheelhouse. And it was also something that was very simple. And it took me a while to realize how much I'm judging. This isn't funny, mm. um, mm -hmm. which whether it's funny or not, isn't my job. My job is to be believable and commit to the thing because that's the best version it can be. Always. Um, and when I realized that, I'm like, oh, I'm, I wasn't as good as I could be because I wasn't doing the best I could be by design. I'm just like, no. And you're trying to punch it up or find a quirky way of doing it. Just fucking say, just say the stupid bullshit thing that you satirize anyway. And I realized, oh, I do that. Cause I also, for years, I stopped watching comedies except for, you know, stuff that were, was grandfathered in when I was a kid. Uh -huh. And it's like, oh, I'm judging the fuck out of this. A great example. I know people do that with uh, some of the Adam Sandler movies, especially um, Grown Ups. Do you know that movie? Yes, with David Spade and co. Yes. You fucking like that. There's so many people like were angry that I liked it. 
<laughs> and it's like, listen, I'm not saying this is the best movie in the world. Yeah. There are legitimately some great laughs. And then there's some that's so fucking ridiculous and I'm laughing for a completely different reason, but I'm still getting that dopamine. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, oh, it doesn't matter why I'm laughing. Just remove, anyway, I'm going on way too long about no, this, I'm but listening. this is a big part of like the big tool in my tool belt now. Um, a tool bag even, I've expanded to a bag. Oh, wow. Is just take it, like literally, like ingest it. Just, it doesn't matter. Mo four things are great. Most things aren't great. Yes. But like, w instead of just watching the joke, watch how much, this is Sandler's dynamic with his best friends. Watch that Netflix let them do this. Watch that this was $40 million. Whatever mm -hmm. the thing might, look at Shaq in the wig doing the, He's having the best time and just like really appreciating not just the the jokes that are supposed to be like, that's not the best, but just I'm part of this world. I get to make these things with the, like, I want to do that. It's inspiring. Well, you're, yes, I think all of it is just, we are angry that we are not doing those things. Really? I mean, when you feel it, when I feel those oh, things, I'm right. mainly just like, I'm, I get that. I am pissed off because Adam Sandler, in using this example, I love, I love him. I understand. But in this thing, he gets to literally f just uh, fuck off and do anything he wants, anywhere he wants, any way he wants, and it's good enough. And we're like, that joke could have been better. You're just phoning this in. This is so lazy. Blee, blee, blah, blah, blah. But in reality, it's just we want to be, I think, we want to have the freedom, many of us, to just be able to do these things as our life. It's a piece of it. Yeah, I connect. I connect to that. Um, I don't know. Uh, I also think that that's the, that's that is also judgment, judgment that is connected to envy. Yes. But without the judgment, there is nothing to feed it, and it's just like, of of course, I want to be in hustle, which your buddy is in. By the way, have you seen it yet? I have seen it. He he FaceTimed. Yeah, he was he's nice. In it. Yeah, he's like, technically he is in it. I mean, wh when when people when I've, d I've done press and interviews of stuff of like, what do you want to do next? Like, because I'm doing stuff for my show as we see on Amazon Prime. Like, what kind of things do you want to do? I mean, I want to be in the NBA. I want to be an action star. Um, I'm not going to be in the NBA now. I'm just uh, I'm you know late thirties. It's unlikely. Yes. Um, action star. You know. Yes. It, it, you know, it, it depends how you define that, you know, but yeah. with what's happening, you know, maybe, but like when I see, I don't remember what, the, what, what I was going to say. Oh, right. You in um, Squid Games makes me feel, we'll put up the post, people get it. Yeah. Um, I'm just thinking because that big shark and I keep forgetting Suicide Squad. That's just fine. And um, there's an SQU in it. Yes. Thank you. Squad, squid. I watched it on a plane mm -hmm. and I remember feeling like not- Subtle dig, by the way, what you just said, but I get it. Mm -hmm. How so? I not seeing it in a theater? watched it on a plane. I get how there could be a joke there. I'm not- I, That's the problem. It's not translating is, to me. That's the problem, yep. I love watching stuff on planes. Okay, now we're going this direction, sure. Well, when you, I mean- Okay, no, it's fine. Uh, anyway, let's continue. You could, you could watch the shittiest stuff and you enjoy it. Yeah. Oh. So I watched mm -hmm. it on a plane. Uh, and uh, it was funny. Um, no, but I, I'm watching it and I did see, and I do, I look at you as a comedian. Okay. Um, for better or worse, not yeah. just a comedian, but I do look at you, oh, he's a funny guy. Right, great, great. And also you have a body that it's like genetics, thanks dad. Thanks daddy. And I did think like fucking specifically, that's very like to what we're saying in this point, I did think like, fuck yeah. Yeah. Like this exists yes. in world, like, not that I am your type at all. Although after this podcast, I do feel much more connected to you. Agreed. But like when, when people say like, oh, comedy is, uh, uh, it, it must be a lot of really competitive. I'm sure that exists. Um, but the circles I found myself in, it's like when my friends, even when my peers work, it is like that begets more work. Mm. And it's like doors are being opened. I mean, especially now when so many things are, are, um, are uh, remakes or, or that, is, uh, uh, what's it called? Um, uh, intellectual property that already exists based on a true story, whatever. Yeah. Original comedies are kind of just like, you know, uh, we need to breed them. It needs, to, we need to, we need more of those. Yes. So when I see an original comedy succeed, it's like good because I need that, that opportunity needs to grow. So I, even if there is a, an ego 
uh, centric part of that of like, when, when, when these things do well, I'm still connecting, ooh, now maybe I could. It does feel like a healthier place of like, I just, when, when people succeed in the thing that we want to do, it only is going to create more demand, you know? I agree. Well, yeah, and you can do all, you are a natural athlete person. I've seen you, so you could. And now we are back to you. Uh, so you could also easily play some of these things, I think, and it would be very fun. Also, this is where we are going now. Everything is action movies and weird uh, IP comics, blah, 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 blah. But I think it's smart if you are also funny. I think it helps. Yeah. yeah just if you're, People who aren't funny, are so, unless they're so interesting, which most people are not, there are less interesting people than funny people. Yeah. I can't even, I, it's, it, it's like, what are we doing? Well, this is why those people are so fascinating to me. If you are on a camera and you are not funny, but I still find you interesting, I find this amazing. This to me is an, a skill I can't, it's difficult for me. I'm like, wow. Mm. Do you know what I mean? I do. I was just talking interpersonally, not necessarily on screen, oh. but I do know what you're saying. Oh, yeah. People that, that have, have it. Yeah. I'm yeah. so fascinated by this. Yeah. Are your friends all, are your friends, some of your friends aren't funny? Uh, or is everybody funny? No, no, not everyone. Well, well, I find everyone funny in a, in their ways. Do you know what I mean? Like I, the people that you would, how do I say it? You find the funny in yes. many things. Yes. Things that no one is laughing at, I often find very hysterical and also funny. Do you have an example? Um, why well, I like jokes that are not funny at all. They are not funny. I'm then sorry. you love my stand up. No, you're sure you are funny. I mean, like, thank you, but yes, I mean, not funny and not at all fun and like bad. Yeah, this to me is my favorite. I get it. That's my favorite. And that yeah. was my stand up for a very long time because I was trying to recreate that feeling, but I wasn't oh. able to have it translate. But I did. I did get good at a skill set of being believable oh, in that thing. Wonderful. But that's what that's what the action movie stuff we're talking about, yes. I, and where I feel like I could connect with you very much. Totally. Yes, yes. So Because you could be very good at that thing. Yeah. But there's the, the, the difference between those people that, or those situations that aren't that funny that you could see because mm. it does something to you. Oh. For to make that translate as a piece, you got to have beats. Ooh, yes. And well, that's where craft kind of comes in. Well, that's tough. It's to be pretending to be bad at a thing is much more difficult than actually being very bad at the thing. You have to be very good at something before you could deconstruct it. Yes. And so that is why I love people that are just terrible. It's just very fun to watch a train wreck occur. It inspires you. I, it just entertains me. I mean, I, I, yeah, it's a little inspired. Like one of my best friends did a stand-up bit one time and it was the worst thing that any of us had seen before and it, <laughs> I have not laughed so hard in a long time. Did your friend also think it was funny or was he or she he embarrassed? He was very inebriated and so I think this was the nice greasing of wheels. He would not have done it if he was a sober person. And so in the moment, so it was funny. You don't do stand-up. You did, right? I don't understand. I mean, I know you're like, what? I don't, I will, I will be on a stage and people are looking at me and I will say- Do you sell tickets? Is that something you do? Do you tour doing that? I have before, yes. You enjoy it? I do enjoy pieces of it, yes. Are you have anything coming up that we could promote? No, uh, but I may, but nothing for this, yeah. Um, well, I know you got to get to training, so I want to end it because we're getting to a point where you got to leave here in a few minutes. Okay, great. Um, but could you give any of your social or anything? Do we care? Yeah, people people will want to know. Okay, uh, yes, hello. Uh, my name is Flula, and you can just find me at Flula, like you have a flu in Los Angeles. F-L-U-L-A. That's it. Uh, and Rick Glassman? Uh, at Rick Glassman on Instagram. At Rick Glassman on Instagram and TikTok. Yes, TikTok. Uh, TikTok. You have to hurry up and follow. Oh, I get it. <laughs> <laughs> because... Theme music. Scoot-doo. Blabbity-blue. 